my love. Welcome to the Godly Femme Podcast. My name is Chumoke Nguyen, and here we discuss all things Christian hypergamy, leveling up, and godly femininity. Check us out at godlyfemme.com. Hi, my love. Today, I want to encourage you not to be a foster girlfriend, okay? What is that? A foster girlfriend is a woman who is a man's girlfriend until he finds his forever home, aka his wife. Um, as a young lady, you have to be aware of the girlfriend trap. That's what I call it. The girlfriend trap is essentially when a man will commit to you for a long time, a long-term relationship. He'll use your time, your youth, your energy, sometimes even your fertility. He might use your womb. He might use you for sex, your body. And at the end of it, when he does become established as a man, he moves on to find a woman who is his dream girl. Now, as a young lady, how can you avoid this trap? Okay, this is a little bit of femininity and hypergamy coaching. So you have to have the mindset that you are a wife. Um, Even as you are a young woman, maybe you're in your 20s, you don't want to have this idea that, oh, marriage is in the far distant future, right? Um, It will happen one day, maybe when I'm in my late 20s, or I'm in my 30s, maybe, then I'll settle down and get married. What I recommend for young women is, and this is just for anyone, my, my husband and I, we tell people do not date if you're not ready for marriage because it causes a lot of complications. And you don't want to give a man everything for the free 99. And then you wake up one day in your 30s and you go back in the dating market and then you're expecting... Um, you know, maybe you're expecting a man to abstain with you, but you weren't abstaining in these long-term relationships, right? And they're like, well, you gave him everything for free 99. Why should I now have to pay for it? Um, it does definitely lower your value on the dating market. When I say value, I'm not talking about your intrinsic value. I'm not talking about you being a child of God and being an image bearer. I'm talking about on the dating market, just like how we have a job market, right? There are some people who um, are extremely, let's just use the word valuable. I don't like that word, but whatever, for a specific job. Okay, the word is qualified. There you go. Let's say there's a certain high um, income job, right? They're looking for an extremely qualified person, not just anybody, right? So everyone is not qualified for that job, but you know, the more things you do or you don't do can further qualify you for a particular job. So as a young woman, you want to always know your worth and say, I am a wife. And if you're not in the market for marriage, I would highly encourage you to just focus on a personal development. Okay. Personal development, focus on building yourself up as that godly wife. And when you are ready to settle down in marriage, and I always say, don't wait too long. Do not wait until your um, 30s, even your late 20s to start dating. I, I think it depends, right? I mean, you can still date and settle down, but you may not have a certain level of skill, right? Um, you don't want to just wake up one day and not do anything with your life and think, oh, just because I'm 30 years old, now it's time to date, but you haven't prepared. So if you are preparing for marriage, I think that's great, right? I think prepare as well as you can. And then when you are finally in the market for marriage, then put yourself on the dating market. But up until that point, you know, I don't think that it makes sense for a young woman, especially to date someone who is around her age. That's another thing that's very important, ladies. Most men are not ready to settle down and marry until their 30s. Why? Because a man's readiness for marriage is highly tied to how established he is as a man. Okay. Keep that in the back of your mind. This is the reason why, you know, women usually date up, they date older. There's an assumption that, Hey, by the time a man is in his thirties, he has built something up for himself to provide for a wife and children. Right. But a man who's in college, okay. A man who is young, not saying all of them are obviously there are men who marry young, but usually A man will not be quick to marry and he's going to be in his playboy era or he might just be like, okay, I am not ready for marriage, but I really want to be with someone and he will just tie himself to any woman out of convenience. 
but that doesn't mean that he wants to marry her. And then once a woman gives him everything for a decade, six years, seven years, and he's like, okay, now I'm established as a man. Now I'm in a different place. I have a different income, <laughs> different tax bracket. I look better now. I can actually pick the woman I want, not necessarily the woman that I built with. So ladies, don't build a man. Either date up, date older, or wait until you are ready for marriage to start dating. Hopefully you enjoyed this femininity and hypergamy training, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.